A video surfaces on social media. It shows four men as they chase one terrified naked woman. It shows them beating her. Then it shows them killing her with at least 36 gunshots. So where was this? Using online technology, we and other researchers have managed to pinpoint the spot. Northern Mozambique, a region consumed by fighting, and a road just outside the small town of Oase. See those billboards, the three trees, the green and the white roofs. There's no doubt about the location. What about the date? The angle of the men's shadows suggests April or September. The video first emerged in early September this year, and we know Mozambican troops were in the area then, launching a major offensive against insurgents. The dry grass also suggests September rather than April. And now to the heart of the matter. Who are these people? The woman has yet to be identified. But look at the empty road. It seems likely she was left behind when other civilians fled. As for the killers... We have been able to identify the outfit that they are wearing, which is exactly the same outfit that the armed forces of Mozambique used, which is green and brown lizard, camouflage, black boots, tan web gear, and yellow and black shoulder tabs. Army uniforms, then. They can also be heard telling the woman, you're from Al-Shabaab, the local name for the Islamist insurgents. And the men's accents back up the theory that they're government soldiers. In the video, the soldiers are speaking in Portuguese uh, with accents of the South. What does that tell us is that they are most likely soldiers of the army because the, from what we know of the insurgents is that uh, they speak in Swahili, in some cases they speak in Arabic, and uh, they speak in Makua and Makondi. Local media reports have since identified a possible suspect, a soldier who may since have been killed. Mozambique's government has given a mixed response, promising an investigation, but also suggesting the footage has been faked or edited by malicious people. That's not impossible. The insurgents seen here looting military supplies earlier this year are well known for impersonating soldiers, even wearing their uniforms to infiltrate towns. As for why any gunmen might kill and film the killing of a civilian, this video may be horrific, but it's not unique. In fact, it's extraordinary quite how many videos are now circulating on social media that have come from this corner of Mozambique. And they appear to show soldiers and insurgents filming themselves as they torture and butcher people. Golly. This footage, for instance, shows someone in army uniform hacking at a man still alive who is lying in what appears to be a mass grave. Is it for propaganda purposes? We know the insurgents, linked to so-called Islamic State, have put out videos, presumably looking for new recruits. Or maybe it's just ill-disciplined soldiers seeking to instill fear, operating in a region far from home. The bottom line, the violence is growing, forcing a quarter of a million civilians to flee their homes. And the stakes are high. Building work has already begun on a vast new project worth billions to develop this region's offshore gas fields. But in recent days, the insurgents have launched new attacks along the coast, perhaps threatening the future of those plans. We have spoken to people who feel that they've been totally abandoned by, by the soldiers and by the army. In certain cases, in certain areas, they feel that the army is more preoccupied in protecting the gas and oil infrastructure than the population. 
uh, and the problem with that kind of sentiment of, from the people is that it creates some sort of distrust. And uh, it won't take long before the, the government loses completely the ability to communicate with locals, which makes it more difficult for them to, to win the war against the insurgents. So much in this short video remains a mystery, but the horrors unfolding in northern Mozambique are now beyond dispute. 